Good day to everyone. I am Lieutenant Warlord B. Moika, ODAS 143263, Philippine Navy, Officer of Naval Research and Technology Development Center, Naval Sea Systems Command, Philippine Navy. And I will be presenting an overview of Project Buawi. The scope of my presentation is as follows. Overview, descriptions, milestone, and timelines. Allow me to show an overview of the project. Buhawi, which stands for Building a Universal Mount for Heavy Barrel Automated Weapon Integration, is a remote weapon station for 50 caliber heavy machine gun that can be fitted on naval floating assets. It is a joint collaborative effort initiated by the Philippine Navy together with the Department of Science and Technology and in industry partners in line with the ongoing efforts to revitalize the self-reliance defense posture program by developing in-country defense material of AFP. It is a two-year project which officially started on the 3rd of January 2019. Project Buhawi is a fully automated remote weapon station which aims not only to enhance the firepower capability of Navy floating assets, but which can also be a universal gun mount for other defense programs of the AFP. This is the design of the project. Being automated, it can be remotely controlled from the deck, minimizing the risk of personnel during the conduct of operation. The project management team is composed of the DOST, MIRDC as the implementing agency, and PN, NSSC, and MIRSP, ICC as both cooperating agency. It is a joint undertaking between the industry and private sector. DOST, MIRDC is responsible for the design of the mechanical system, while MRSP, ICC, and PNNSSC is responsible for the control system, including peripherals, motors, military-grade cameras, and other requirements. It is a two-year project development where the first year of implementation was funded by the OST, which covers mostly the design and development, while the second year is funded by DNDPN, which includes mostly the functionality, reliability, durability testing, and live test firing. Currently, the project is already in its year two implementation. Since its commencement, it has accomplished significant development. Soft launching event at Ternate Cavite is the one of the most significant activity initiated by the team as it is attended by key personnel from military and civilian sector including the Secretaries of the Department of National Defense and Department of Science and Technology, wherein the prototype was introduced to the participating agency. On 14 to 16 July 2021, the first testing was conducted to evaluate the recent capability development of the project at Armor Division, Philippine Army, Camp O'Donnell, Kappa Starlock. This is the initial testing among succeeding testing activities set for the project. Continuous functional testing and adjustment for calibration for locking, tracking, thermal, and laser range finder capabilities of the electro-optic camera were conducted at MIRDC compound testing facility area and SSC premises. This is to ensure the performance and to evaluate the compliance of the system with the desired functional requirements of the project. Here we are the timelines of the succeeding activities of the project. The second land-based test firing is tentatively set on the 3rd to 4th week of September 2021. After the land-based testing is the final assessment and evaluation through harbor and sea operational tests. Then, the integration or installation aboard Philippine Navy vessel is expected to be done from the last week of November or first week of December 2021. Finally, is the turnover of the project to the Philippine Navy is intended to be done on the second week of December 2021. That concludes my presentation. Thank you and good day to everyone.